Alright, welcome to Benet's Garage today. Today! Today, today, today! Oh! We're gonna make a fucking still. Cute, eh? Okay, so there's my keg. It's a 54 liter keg, some shit like that. I've already uh, depressurized it and got the, the rod out that's inside. So that's a 2 inch and the 4 inch. These are called uh, tri clamp uh, ferrules, stainless steel. They have to be stainless steel because the keg is also stainless steel. So that's your ferrule. Okay, so that's your clamp, right? This is your basically your flange that's going to be welded on. It's just a, a blank. Okay, so this is the flange. As you can see, that's why we have to drill. I'm going to show you how to do that the most accurate way possible. And then you have your high heat seal right here and then when you're uh, cooking you put that on with your clamp and she's good to go I'm using a hole saw by metal hole saw obviously do not use a wood hole saw whatever you do it will not work these are uh, steel rings I got machined at a local machine shop and what that's going to do if you can see what I'm doing here there's no sloppiness so I'm going to tack this ring because we got the contour of the keg like this this is the guide for the whole saw you can't go wrong like this it's the best way to do it okay so what I'm gonna do I have everything laid out uh, just the guy where I want everything obviously and uh, I put this right in the middle um, strictly just for it being the best location you can put your ferrule anywhere but you got the same distance here as you do here and you can easily stick your hand in and clean. Okay, so what I've done is pre-drilled. Now I'm just gonna open that up a touch. Stainless, it's, uh, it's a different animal altogether, so you wanna keep your uh, RPM on your drill a lot slower than you would on wood or steel. Cause uh, when stainless uh, overheats, it actually gets, uh, it work hardens, which means it gets harder the material and a lot more challenging to drill through so that's you want to keep that stainless as cool as possible and uh, make it a lot easier for you in the long run okay so I got my hole drilled now I'm gonna put this in the hole first and then slide my uh, steel ring over top and then tack it in place that way I can't go wrong and it's already centered up if you know what I'm saying Okay, so as you can see, obviously I tacked with contact because we're not going to go too wild on the stainless tacking here. Just the the front and the back where she makes contact. The sides, just totally optional. This is a, a tapping paste. It's called Jockish. And it's an amber color. And what you, this is, it's basically a really awesome lubricant. Right here, your teeth are already through. So what will happen if you're not... If you're pressing way too hard, when that hole saw comes around, it'll bite in and just take all those teeth off and that's it. So this, when you're getting near the, the final stage of almost getting through, you just all, just let that drill float in your hand and just take your time. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and do the 4 inch. I'm not going to bore you to death in this video here, but you get the point now. But I have uh, what they call a, a flap wheel, which is a, a sandpaper disc. This one's 80 grit. Uh, the finer the better, but I have a small area I have to do, and uh, this is great for the burring around the hole, and also uh, it'll give uh, the stainless a nice polish anyway. So. Okay, so what I did, I polished the edge so my stainless steel is nice and clean for TIG welding, and uh, same here as well. So I'm going to mount my uh, ferrules, or flanges I call them. You're going to need a vernier, uh, digital's easier. And I'll show you what to do next. You have, uh, you see that rod coming out? And that's your depth. That's your depth gauge. So what you're going to want to do, is that on the edge. So that's your digital readout. So what you're going to want to do is, we've got 397 here, 446. So we're higher here. Okay, so what I did is change the cup. This is a ceramic cup. That's the number 8. Okay. That's the number 5. The 8 is actually a half inch opening and the easy way to know it's measured in sixteenths so eight sixteenths is half inch 
So this one is five uh, five sixteenths opening. And then if this was a number four, it would be quarter inch because four sixteenths in the lowest uh, form is a quarter. So on. That's a little uh, welding tip. Okay, so I got these all uh, tacked on as you can see. So I'm going to go ahead and TIG weld them. Okay, so got her all welded. And uh, I cleaned her all up. So now you can see that heat stain. I have a I have a, a product called uh, pickling paste, and what it does that stainless B is a little bit dull. It will actually clean that residue off chemically. It does a chemical reaction. So I'm going to polish it inside here with some sandpaper. Buffed it because the wall penetrated a little bit. Same within here. A reflex still, as you can see. So that's 2 inch copper pipe. I didn't show you how to make this because I actually bought this off eBay for a really good price. You can't even buy the copper and do it all for the price I got it for. Okay, so you can hardly tell with the clear hose, but got the hose clamp there. That's my female hose adapter. I've got another hose clamp there, and that's my other uh, female hose adapter. So I'll have the garden hose come into here. And what I did, I made it short as possible, as you can see right here, so it will uh, kink, and then you're going to have a uh, shortage of flow, so that way, the closer it is, less likely that less likely that is to happen. So then I took the remaining 10 feet I had, that's your male garden hose fitting, so it doesn't matter what's your inner or your out, so you would hook up your garden hose with your cold water, it goes around this jacket, and then flows out here, and that's your wastewater, I guess you call it. And then this is uh, always keeping it cold. Okay, so that's the still complete. So that's your uh, two inch drain, your four inch window to clean, so you can get your hand in there, obviously. Here's your uh, two inch tri clamp, and that's your uh, reflux. And you have your union joint. Here's the condenser, that's your in, and that's your out. And uh, that's it. That's how you uh, make it still. It can be used for uh, several purposes. Don't forget to like and comment, guys, and thanks for watching this video.